Dolly Parton has lived at the same estate in Brentwood, Tennessee since buying it in 1999 for $400,000. While you might expect a more extravagant abode from the country legend, Dolly and her husband Carl Dean love the farm-like property they call home. The scenic estate features a swimming pool, a chapel, a farm, and more. And we're gonna take a look. While she has kept this home quite private, over the last year or two in lockdown, Dolly has shown more of the inside of her cozy country house. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Dolly Parton is a singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, actress, businesswoman, humanitarian, and more, known mainly for her work in country music. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. She's filled her life with a ton of ventures, from composing over 3,000 songs, to opening a theme park, and becoming highly involved in charity work since the 80s. Currently, Dolly's estimated net worth is at a whopping $650 million, and while her music makes up about a third of that, her largest asset is Dollywood, the amusement park in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, that she co-founded over 35 years ago. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. Today, we're getting a glimpse at the longtime Tennessee home of Dolly Parton, as well as some of her other properties. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Dolly Parton's home is just what you'd expect of the country star. She's lived in the same house in Brentwood, Tennessee with her longtime husband, Carl Dean, since 1999. Back then, she purchased the farm-like property for $400,000, and it spans 3,324 square feet of space inside. While her home is close enough to Nashville, it's still far enough away from downtown to allow for a ton of land, and with more than 10 structures built around the main house, it's clear to see why Dolly loves her property so much. Dolly and Carl reportedly have a tennis court on their estate, as well as a swimming pool, their very own chapel, multiple gazebos, and even a farm. The estate is guarded by a large iron gate, and behind it, a driveway leads to the large, idyllic-looking main house, proudly displaying an American flag. Each of the structures on Dolly's estate have a bright red roof and can be seen from the road, giving her property a country farm feel. Aside from the acres of open space to roam, we can point out the quaint chapel where Dolly likes to go when she's overwhelmed or just wants to pray. In 2018, Dolly invited actress Reese Witherspoon into her home to film the first episode of her inspirational series, Shine On, and she showed off the charming and spiritual space. The country star also gave a glimpse at her modest kitchen, where she whipped up some breakfast and dished out words of wisdom. We can see the space is fitted with white wooden cupboards and a brown center island with white marble top. The appliances here are stainless steel and include all the luxe basics one could need, including a double fridge and double ovens. Dolly's classic estate features a sunny yellow hallway which complements the white window sills. She showed this area of the home during the pandemic when she told fans to keep the faith. The singer also has a piano set up close to some family photos, while one living room has dark couches and red pillows. We've also caught a glimpse into one of her living areas that had a cream-colored leather armchair and a small mirrored side table with a bubble lamp. Of course, Dolly has her very own music room at home with black piano, patterned green carpet, and floral blinds. While it's not clear if it's in the same room, she also has a huge collection of awards in one room, complete with a painting, honoring her achievement of selling a hundred million records worldwide. To match the vintage theme of her Tennessee home, it boasts patterned wallpaper, and some rustic wooden furniture. While Dolly has lived in that Brentwood home for what seems like forever, it's certainly not the only property she owned. In fact, a couple of years ago, she and her husband Carl's former abode came up for sale at over $1 million. The couple lived in this spacious house from 1980 to 1996, and it was located in the Glencliff neighborhood of Nashville, Tennessee, and it was home right before they settled at their current estate. Dolly's former home was a one-of-a-kind, two-level craftsman-style abode situated just southeast of downtown Nashville on a gated 2.4-acre property. 
Dolly invested 16 years of her life into this building, and though it's had new owners since, it's not hard to see the effect that she had on the place. There are touches of Dolly throughout the home, from the living room to the bedrooms and more. Interiors span 4,795 square feet with a 1,500 square foot guest house elsewhere on the property, but this was added after Dolly and Carl moved out. The Glencliff Estate was built back in 1941 and updated since, featuring four beds and three baths throughout. The stucco exterior hints at the Art Deco vibe of the early 1940s, as do some of the spacious interiors, which were perfect for entertaining guests. Common spaces included an Eden kitchen and living rooms like this one that looks perfect for syncing some live music. While the living room had a modern style, the kitchen looks like what you'd expect from a former Parton property. The cream cupboards, checkerboard tiles and ceiling fans all give that retro vibe that we know Dolly loves so much. Furthermore, the master bedroom at this property was spacious and boasted plush armchairs surrounding the bed and a ton of room compared to some of Dolly's other past properties. The attached bath offered a separate bath and shower stall. Outside you'll find a shed which is original to the property. In fact, Dolly added on to it during her time living here. The singer created a playroom for her nieces and nephews. Not to mention, it still has the wallpaper that she picked out back in the 80s. While Dolly's former house doesn't have a pool or a recording studio, it does offer some wooded areas and a covered patio for all of your outdoor party needs. While Dolly never chose Hollywood over Nashville being a celebrity, you know she had to own a home there at one point. In 2014, it was reported that Dolly listed her West Hollywood crash pad for just over $1.3 million, which was remarkably small to say the least. The compact and very fenced in bungalow was located in the Norma Triangle neighborhood and boasted its own Hollywood history, being the childhood home of Natalie Wood. Dolly picked the spot up in 2007 for $1.2 million and stayed here whenever she was in LA. Seeing how the sinker decorated this home can tell us a lot about what rooms in her current country mansion might look like. From the moment that you step inside this gated property, you can see that nature plays a large part in the decor. The front of the home is decked out in greenery with trees, hedges, and potted plants. It adds a nice touch to the already bright exterior and paint job where we can see a splash of pink and red on the white backdrop. The colorful hues seem to continue into the home's interiors with the use of pink very present in the dining room. There are also frilled cushions on the chairs which were very 20th century and quite the throwback. Listing details explain Dolly's former West Hollywood home was originally built in 1923, spanning a quaint 1,091 square feet of space with two beds and two baths while other marketing materials say there's actually three bedrooms. Either way, it was humble. There were warm hardwood floors throughout the charming home, motorized skylights, hand-painted details, and a security system with cameras. A walk-through cozy den offered a fireplace and led to French doors and to the master bedroom, which was fitted with two spacious closets with built-ins, a pop-up TV, and more French doors to the outdoor patio. The secondary bedroom also had a walk-in closet, full ensuite, and doors out to its own private landscaped deck. Clearly a fan of the rocking chair, Dolly had two of them in her main sleeping space, which sat opposite one another. When the star wasn't doing her makeup in the mirrors or watching TV in bed, she likely enjoyed sitting outside on her balcony and watching the sunset. Also on this property, the detached one-car garage was transformed into a private guest cottage, which we can assume is bedroom number three. The space is definitely unlike anything I've seen before. Somehow they managed to cram a kitchenette, a bathroom, and a recliner next to the bed. I mean, it doesn't even look accessible. Anyways, outdoors, a large covered deck had built-in seating, a fridge, barbecue, and prep area. Private back garden had a climate-controlled storage room, and it was decked out with lush landscaping too. So now we've looked at three of her homes, past and present, so I think I'll bring this Dolly Parton house tour to a close. After seeing a bit inside her private life at her longtime Brentwood, Tennessee home and her former properties, what did you think? All of the homes had their own unique look to them, but they each showed a little bit of Dolly. And by looking at photos, they were also all warm and welcoming, just like her. What did you guys like about her homes, including what we saw of her current country estate? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!